Hey folks and welcome to the Truck King YouTube channel. Today is an exciting day for us because we finally have our hands on this, the F-150 Tremor. Now of course we're going to go off-road in this truck, but that's not what this video is about. This video was all about towing a trailer and going up to max payload to find out if this off-road Tremor can still work hard. off with the walk around and we have to start with the powertrain so this is a three and a half liter EcoBoost V6 that is a twin turbo it's making 400 horsepower at 500 pound-feet of torque sent through a 10 speed automatic now what first you should know about the Tremor is that this configuration you see here is the only one you're gonna get a super crew with that five and a half foot bed and this engine now when you go for the Tremor it's making the F-150 more off-road ready than just an FX4 so the track here is one inch wider. You're getting 9.4 inches of ground clearance. The entire front bumper there is modified. Now, sadly, we still don't get a 30 degree approach angle. That's 27 and change degrees. I wish it was a little bit higher, but we will put that to the test. Now, moving back, we get a nice set of 33 inch general grabber all-terrain tires. That looks like a nice aggressive AT. Now, another thing up front that you get in this truck, an optional Torsen limited slip differential, and we do have that here today. I can't wait to test that out. As we roll back, we have to talk about in the rear, the rear locking differential, of course. And you know what? Besides that, everything in the rear here is standard F-150, which means that you're still getting all the conveniences out of this bed, like Pro Power on board and all of the cool features back there on the tailgate. How about towing and payload? Honestly, that's one of the reasons you would get this Tremor because you don't give up a lot in those areas. Tow rating here, 10,900 pounds and the payload on our truck as you see it, 1,464 pounds. Time now folks for the payload test. So we loaded up this F-150 with our new rubber mats. That's uh, just over 1,100 pounds worth of rubber back there in the bed. And payload on this truck as it sits, 1464. So with dad and I up here, and then we got some lawn chairs in the back and my camera bag. Yeah, we're probably over that payload just a little bit, but we're basically fully loaded. What did I forget? No, we're over it. We're over it, not by a little bit, by that much. <laughs> gotcha. Um, well, in that case, and actually let me speak to that real quick, Dad, because we gotta be honest about payload, right? Most guys don't weigh what they put in their beds, right? When you go to Home Depot, how often do you go with a scale? So when we do go over just a little bit, I think that's real world testing and that's why we do it. That's why I think it's important, even though I would never recommend that you overload your pickup truck. So with all that being said, uh, you know, what do you feel? Does the F-150 feel like the wheels are gonna fall off? <laughs> uh, no, not today. And other than that, I got one thing that's nice when you put a thousand pounds back there is, man, it smooths out. This is, uh, this is a nice, comfy ride. Yeah, and I mean, loads of power. I don't think you really notice it. How about the brakes? Do you notice it when you're stopping? No, no, no there's, there's, it's pushing a little further. But that's only because I'm paying attention, otherwise I probably wouldn't notice. Gotcha. Well, that's good, and that's what you want. You want to know that that number on the sticker, if you do load it right up to it, you're not going to feel like the wheels are going to fall off and something bad's going to happen. So that's definitely a positive point for the F-150. And now we'll head back and we will measure the squat to see if this Tremor squats uh, any more than a standard F-150 does. Now let's measure the payload. And of course, this Tremor gets unique suspension compared to a regular F-150. So once we're done here, we will actually be able to compare and say whether the Tremor squats more than a standard truck. So we go center of the tire. That is 39 and a half, 39 and one half inches. And now dad and I will strip out the uh, rubber and we'll measure again. All right, we've got the weight off. We are uh, sweating like crazy. It's like 30 degrees out here today, Celsius. Now let's see how much it was squatting. The truck has not moved. 
Wow. That is 42 and a half inches. Yeah, that's... How much is that, Steve? That is three inches from 39 and a half, which, uh, of course, we'll throw it up here on the board, but that's definitely more squat than we get out of most half tons. Now, I will say that today we are using our rubber mats. In the past, we used our barrels, so no, the weight is not the exact same, but even still, we'd expect, expect to see about two inches out of this truck, and it was squatting about three. All right, we're backing into our trailer now, so you can see the camera system. Now there is a hitch guidance line, which I appreciate, right there in the center. Now in terms of other views, you can scroll through them up here. There's quite a few. There's your rear wide. Actually, that's your rear wide. The other one was your rear tight. There you can look down on your bed. This is for an auxiliary camera that you could hooked up inside or even at the back of your trailer. And then here's your hitching view for actually hitching up. This is your trailer reverse guidance setup, which we don't have ready to go yet. So we'll back out of that. And we will go into our hitching view. And uh, you know what, that's actually, we're not quite close enough yet. So we'll go here, we'll get it close, and then we'll go into the hitching view. I'm on an angle, but I think I can save it. Boom, and then you can see that auto park brake ready. So once I go into park, the parking brake automatically comes on. And I think that makes so much sense because the truck knows, hey, you just backed into a trailer, so you're gonna want that parking brake. That's cool. While you're on the move here in this F-150 trimmer, you can actually get to quite a few different camera angles and it seems as though they'll just stay on indefinitely. Some brands will time out these cameras, but not Ford. And this is the one I like. This is the, you know, when you're up in the cab, arguing with your dad or your wife about, did you remember the safety chains? Did you remember to put the pin in? Well, now you don't have to get out and check. You can just double check on the screen. <laughs> or, or you can watch your trailer uh, catastrophically fail as it pops off the hitch ball. <laughs> this is a nice view too as well. You know what, if you got something tied down in the bed and yeah, you want to check on it or check on your tie downs, I do appreciate that. All right, here we are towing 7,000 pounds. We just merged onto the highway, so hammer down, Dan. I already did. All right, feels pretty good, feels pretty strong. It's, it's definitely working, you know it's back there, but uh, I don't think power would ever be an issue from this EcoBoost. Now, the tow rating on this truck, 10,900, so you know, we're not exactly stressing it right up to max or anything like that at 7,000. Um, but what I'm feeling anyways over here from the passenger seat is that this truck is definitely on the softer side and therefore it's resulting in a little more kind of forward and back body motion. Is it enough to feel sketchy? No, not at all. But I definitely feel like this truck is just moving around more than sort of a standard F-150 would. Um, and then when we drop the weight on the back, yeah, the back end squats pretty nice and the nose feels just a hair high. Now overall, still feels like a confident towing rig, but a little bit different than what you'd get out of just an FX4 Ooh. or just an F-150. Um, you feeling that too? What are you feeling? Yeah, it's sorry, sleepy. it wasn't Steve that was boring me here. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's doing exactly what you would expect. This is a softer suspension. You saw that we got three inches worth of, uh, of compression with the 1,100 pounds of mats in the back, uh, which is about an inch more than a uh, normal F-150. So it just stands to reason that the ride right now is a little more floaty and as Steve pointed out a minute ago when you do kind of brake hard you get kind of a kind of a hobby horsing thing happening mm -hmm. um, as you come to a stop so but does that mean anything no it's just a trait of the truck and I suppose the reason we're looking at these things is because if you you buy this tremor you want to do probably more off-roading than a regular F-150 guy. 
However, you may still be running this truck for work Monday to Friday. Um, you still want to tow your camper, your boat, um, your power sport stuff. So unlike a Raptor, where you take a real big hit in your towing abilities and in your payload, this doesn't do that. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, hey, you can get that Torsen limited slip front diff, which came out of a Raptor. So I think that was Ford's idea was give them all the kind of the Raptor stuff, all the Raptor stuff we can without sacrificing you know, the towing or payload. Yep. So, Steve, I just wondered if you noticed, I did when we were hooking up the trailer, that the dual exhaust on this truck um, pokes through a couple of cutouts in the bottom of the rear bumper, mm. which... And of course, Ram did that first uh, a number of years ago. One of those sort of things that everybody loved right away, and they've been doing it ever since. And so I just, I just wonder if uh, you know Ford thought, oh, to heck with it, we're going to do it too, just because we like the way it looks. It certainly does look cool, but I also heard that there was a number of Raptor owners who were squishing their tailpipes because the tailpipe in that truck was hanging down underneath the bumper. So when you needed that departure angle, if you didn't have enough. The tailpipe was taking the beating. So I wonder if it's not also functional to try to tuck those tailpipes away and make sure that, yeah, you're not gonna be uh, making your round tailpipes into ovals. Guess that just makes it doubly good. There you go, double smartness. <laughs> and can't also fail to point out, integrated trailer brake controller. That's, you know, been an F-150 for a long time now, but still appreciate it. Every time you put a trailer on that's got brakes, you need it. So it's nice not to have to fumble around with wiring one up or even a Bluetooth. And they were the first, so you can win a bet with your buddies. Who brought it first? It was Ford. And now folks, it is time for 0260 with our 7,000 pound trailer. We've got her in tow haul mode. And dad, we are ready for the race, hit it. fastest truck we've ever tested but now everyone can see how it stacks up over on the leaderboard well you've seen it working what does it cost this f-150 tremor as you see it here in canada is going for $86,000 MSRP. Now I'll break that down for you even further. We do have Ford Copilot 360 Active 2.0, and that includes Blue Cruise, that's the hands-free driving system, that's $2,100 here in Canada. Twin panel moonroof, that's $1,750. Pro power onboard for just the two kilowatts, that's an extra $1,300, Dad. I like pro power onboard, but $1,300, bucks, you are gonna think twice about that. You really gonna buy it only if you're gonna use it um, partition fold flat storage is 225 in the rear power tailgates 800 bucks the front axle with the torsen limited slip is 675 which to me actually that that feels like a pretty good bargain uh, and then finally the spray and bed liner is actually $600 on top of that too hmm. so there's all your options on this truck 86k man it feels expensive no doubt about that but it's right in the realm for what all of these trucks cost and then we say this a lot these days but there's less compromise than ever so at least dad you can spend 86 grand and get one truck which is going to go off road be really fun on the trail but then can still haul all your stuff you're not you're not really making that trade off like you used to that seems to be the consensus for what this truck is all about mm -hmm. and uh you know we've heard other people saying it but i'm glad that uh you know we figured it out too 
Well, folks, we have come to the end of this one, and I know what you're saying. You want to see the Tremor get muddy, and you will. In fact, we have so much off-roading in store that we're saving it for an entire video on its own. We're even going to introduce some new obstacles, so make sure you keep it locked here to Truck King to see this thing get muddy. For now, the verdict has to be that this truck, when it is towing and hauling payload, it is still a confident F-150, and of course, that is a good thing. Now, I want to hear from you. Go in the comments, let me know what you think of the Tremor and the F-150 as a whole. As always, while you're down there, don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, hit join to become a member, and then come right back here to Truck King to see us take this Tremor off-road.